Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the world that is my channel during Corona. So right now, I should be in somewhere south of here, but I am in Pennsylvania, hunkering down during this viral outbreak. I'm here with my dog, Rush. Rush. Hello. Uh, I'm about to walk him. I'm gonna check out a vernal pool that I've scattered out before to see if I can find any uh, spotted salamanders or Jefferson salamanders there. Uh, I think that would be pretty cool. I'll let you know what I find. Uh, maybe I'll check a stream for some red or spring salamanders. We'll see what we can do. We gotta make do with what we have here. Uh, could be down south, but it's not the case as of right now. But we'll see what happens in a few weeks. Here we are out in this uh, kind of upland oak hardwood forest with uh, lots of mountain laurel and stuff. It's a pretty rocky environment. And here you can see my phone screen that focuses. We're like here and then let's see, there's like a dark pond looking thing here, which looked last time I went to it in the late summer or something like that. It looked like a pretty substantial vernal pool. So we're gonna see if we can navigate our way back to that thing. All right, now we're starting to get into some lower land, swampier area. And we're on a trail now, but we're gonna take a 90 degree turn off trail and bushwhack at some point to get to this hidden Vernal pool. I'll let you know how that goes. All right, here we go. Off the trails. As you can see, excuse me. As you can see, we still have oh, a little snow on the ground. Uh, yeah, let's let's do this in here. Oh. Luckily, ticks aren't out in full force yet, but on a warm day, they're out. Today's, I don't know, 40 or so. Uh, so I imagine there's, there's some out. Okay, this looks familiar, actually. I was here like last summer or so, scouting for marbled salamanders. This place is pretty, ooh, unexplored though. I'd imagine. I mean, not much sign that people have been here a lot. Let's check it out. Oh, after quite a bit of walking, I believe I've found our vernal pool. See it just over the horizon here. Pretty nice little pond, actually. that. That's awesome. I bet you I can turn up some spotted salamanders or something around the edges here. I'll let you guys know. All right, nothing too exciting, but we have our first amphibians of the hike here. We have some red back salamanders. Actually, both color phases here. Um, three individuals. Uh, here we go. Nothing too exciting. There's the lead back phase, which is the kind of gray colored one with the little dots on it and then you have the type with the red stripe down its back. So I'm going to let these guys go and uh, keep flipping rocks. Mm -hmm. 
All right, not a whole lot else going on at that particular water body, but I'd like to come back sometime at night. A little rush. Uh, I'd like to go back at night sometime and see if there's any amphibian movement, because I'm sure they have to be using that pool. So uh, maybe we'll check that out sometime. Anyway, I'm gonna move my way back towards a different wetland in the same area and uh, see if I can flip anything over there. Some more redbacks as flipped. Very common species around here. Let's see if we can do a little better than that today. All right, finally got another species on the board here. There were two of them. We got some northern two-line salamanders right here. Let's see if we can pick them up. They're kind of yellowy little salamanders. Almost looks like a, a yellow red back salamander or something like that. Nothing too interesting. We're going to keep looking. And I'm near the swamp here. And I flipped this log and got over here. You'll see there's a, uh, where is he? Right there. There's a lead back and a red back. And then, bang, there is a nice, big, spotted salamander. I'll put that guy right here, but you'll notice he's not the only one. Nice ones. This one's real pretty. Oop. Very cool. Spotted salamanders, uh, believe it or not, this is not as big as they get. They can get quite a bit bigger than this. And uh, they, every spring, come up from underground and lay their eggs in these vernal pool areas. So this is kind of what I was shooting for today. Be nice though, if I could get a, uh, a Jefferson salamander as well, another species in the same genus. All right, I uh, took some pictures of those salamanders and I just released them. I'm still in some good habitat here, so I'm gonna flip some of these logs and see what I can find. Bingo, we must be in a good area now because I've got another. This time, it's a big female. Awesome. I'm gonna uh, turn the log back over and let her go. What a nice little vernal pool we have here. I'm gonna have to mark this on my maps and come back in the fall and see if there's marbled salamanders or anything like that in this area. But uh, this is likely where those spotted salamanders were heading to lay their eggs. And there's Rush destroying the habitat. Thanks Rush. All right, we uh, got a few nice species of salamander there, and uh, I think I'm gonna call it a day. Getting pretty tired. Didn't get Jefferson salamander I wanted, but uh, it's not like that was the only target. I was happy to see those spotted salamanders. That was pretty cool. Um, and soon, I guess, maybe I'll combine it with this video or Maybe it'll be its own video. I'm gonna find some other species of salamander around here and uh, should be snakes coming out soon.